Hey Libras, it's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jen the Butterfly, and this is your December 13th through the 31st, 2015 by Weekly Terrascope. I apologize, y'all. I've been trying to get to you guys, and as well the four other signs that I couldn't get to um, before the 13th, and I tried to um, get them all out on the same day, but. I couldn't get back to them after I did the first seven of them, so I apologize, but I was determined to get these in before December 13th comes in, and I will do that like I'm doing now. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to this video. Thank you for everyone who's been following me on Instagram, and thank you for those who have uh, chosen me to um, do a personal reading for them. I really appreciate it. Um, and I just want to say that these readings are general. They apply for sun, moon, and rising signs. You, this doesn't, it may not um, resonate with you, with all of you. It, it may not resonate. I feel like it'll resonate with some, but not all. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your rising sign, check out your moon sign. Um, and also know that, you know, with these bi weekly readings, a, the, the energy is transferable. It could very well um, have occurred at the beginning of the month, or it can it could go a span of at least six weeks. So the whole month of December going into the first two weeks of January. So just keep that in mind. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, then it just doesn't resonate. It just it wasn't for you. You didn't need to hear it this time. Maybe, like I said, check out your other signs. Maybe there's another there's another message for you. Um, but we're going to get into it doing something a little different. I am shuffling on camera and letting you see the card selection process. Uh oh. This is just to show you guys. And I know it's a little different. But hey, I do how I do. What do we have for? Libras, December 13th, excuse me, December 13th through the 31st, 2015, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Libra, the Librans, what do we have here, I'm going to just come down to Libra, please show me Libra, December 13th through the 31st, uh-uh, -oh, that's hard for China. I wish we could ask you. you know, if any of these, um, if anything that I say in this reading, if this reading resonates with you and you want to delve deeper in it, my link is in the description box, okay? Y'all all over the place this month. Well, the last two weeks in this month. All right, y'all. I don't read in reversals, okay? Okay, here we go. Five of Wands. Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands, The High Priestess, Six of Wands, that's going into the second week, sorry, and then for this last week, going into uh, January 2016. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. You have the King of Wands. And the Three of Swords. Okay. 
all right so just looking at um the first week i feel like um Libras, y'all may be going through some situations um, involving other people. Um, and I feel like for those, it, this may be, what I feel like is this. You have some, for those who are applying for jobs, I feel like you know that you're up against some very stiff competition with the 501s here. Um, and it, I feel like it really has you feeling insecure. Okay. Um but I with the six of pentacles here coming right after I feel like you really don't have much to worry about. Okay. I feel like um this is like with for those who are actually, you know, job searching and all and those who have applied for a job that, you know, I feel like this is a job that you really want or you know, you really have the experience for your experience. It's not going to be one of those situations where it's who you know. It's going to actually be what you know. Okay. Um, I know, and I, I feel like that may be the reason why you're feeling this way here. Like, you know, what, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get it. You know, there's other people around here that are just as good as me, or you know, they may just decide to hire someone else. You know, maybe they've already promised such and such the job I don't think that you know they're just telling me that they're just going to go through the, the interview process with me but they already have who they want you know I, I, I hear someone saying that um, but I actually feel like especially if this is like an internal transfer if it's an internal transfer I feel like your work is going to I feel like this is saying that your work is going to stand for itself and if this is for someone that has um, this is something like, you know, hiring outside the company. Excuse me, your resume is going to impress a person. You're going to impress the people in HR. You know, so I feel like if you if you applied and felt like you may not get the interview, I feel like you're going to get the interview. I feel like they're going to be looking, looking at you and seeing that, you know what, she, she, he or she, um, I think we need to give this person a chance here. They, they, They've shown and they they shown and proved what they can do. They they've held their weight up in gold, in work and effort. You know, I, I see that it's going to be uh, valued and appreciated and recognized at the same time. Um, and get, get some get some get some um some confidence in yourself. Is what I feel like. Um, now, if this is a a relationship issue. I feel like y'all may have been doing a little bit of, um, you ain't been worrying and trying to come up with ideas of how you're going to come up with money. I feel like that's been a, a, a very common theme going on. But I also feel like for some of y'all, y'all have just hit a low spot in your relationship where y'all have just been just kind of bickering with each other and always taking little stabs at each other and it's just it's a low point right now but I feel like what it's saying it may have it may feel you may have you feeling a little um less insecure about the relationship or where the relationship is going but I feel like it's going to even itself back up okay with the six of pentacles it really you may think that you have something to do with it but I really don't think it has anything to do with you Okay, or this this is a general reading. It could go vice versa. Maybe your your mate is thinking that you know it's them, but it's really not them. You know the the reason why you're acting they acting that way with them. You may be having conflicts at the office. You know it could be that type of deal too. So, but going into the week of the December twentieth, you start off with the two of wands. Um. For those who get offered this job, I feel like you may you may actually well interview may actually get offered a job, and I feel like this job is something that it may require you to travel. Um, either traveling is involved with the job, or you may have to travel to you may have to move to get to the job. Um, but either way, it has you looking for and it has you looking excited about feeling excited about this new journey that you're about to head on to um, and I actually feel like yeah with the high priestess again you 
you're feeling very confident and it's follow, being followed up with the six of wands. You know, I feel like this is like you announcing to people like, yeah, I got the job. I'm going to do this. I'm moving, you know, and I know I can do this. I know I can do the job. I know that um, I'm capable, you know. I've, I've done, I've had so much, I've done so much research. This person has, the, the high priestess has so much knowledge under her belt. Um, so yeah, I, I do, I feel like this is you just moving into a better space and you're, you're actually probably physically moving some of you guys for job purposes. Um, and if it's not regarding a job and this is a relationship, this is just going to be you know, y'all just trying to decide where do we go from here and um, very similar, this reading is very similar to, I think to Cancer, but you, either way, um, since things are now more balanced now, you're both feeling more balanced within yourselves and with, within the relationship. Um, and I feel like even though you have worried yourself some, that deep down inside you knew that things were going to work out okay. Um, Now, at the end of the week, end of the month going into January 16th, or it could be the first two weeks of January, you have the King of Wands and you have the Three of Swords. What I feel with the King of Wands is um, Libras. I feel like this could actually be a person that could be coming in I feel this I feel like this person is like a troublemaker because they have the three of swords right behind them I feel like they're going to be trying to come in like jealousy or, or rage or something like that I don't know um, Yeah, I do. I feel like I feel like this 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 is a this is just a warning. You know what I mean? It may not be that, but I see. Yeah, I see this King of Wands here. Uh oh, as this dude right here. Like this was the person, one of these people that probably was contending for the job that you got. And uh, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they were one of these people that were contending. And um, they didn't get the job. And now they, they're going around. This person looks very jealous to me and very pissed off right now. You know, very, very pissed off. It may even try to say some things voice their opinion. Y'all might even get into it a little bit, you know. But I don't feel like it's gonna it's gonna affect you. Let me look and see what else we can find out with this um King of Wands. Oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Drop the card, y'all. I feel like they will. I feel like this person, whoever this person is, like they're not going to be happy that you got this job. Or they are not happy that you and your mate made up and got things back on the right track and moving forward in your relationship. Now, I will say, too, and I don't know why that just came to me. Whoever, if this is a relationship issue and, you know, maybe there was some things going on, um, like another woman or another, you know, whoever, um, they may be trying to come out to start some shit. Because, you know, this three of swords here, I feel like somebody, you know, somebody's heart got broken. Somebody got disappointed. Because it's not, this king of wands, he, he always gets what he wants. And I feel like, you know, here he is right beside this three of swords. He didn't get what he wants out of this situation. 
Yeah, and he's acting very immaturely with this Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person wanted it for themselves, okay? But it wasn't for them. And I don't really feel like you're going to be worrying about it. Yeah, with the Eight of, eight of Wands, you may get wind of it, okay? You may get wind of it that somebody came in and was talking shit. Like, yeah, this person may come in your face. Like, I feel like this person is just somebody that, um... And I think I talked about this with you before, Libra. It's still coming in. I don't know if it, it maybe it hasn't. Maybe you're still going through the process. But I think this was y'all that we were talking about before. This person at your job. Whoever this person is at your job, listen. They could be talk, they, I feel like they're going to be talking shit. I really do. And they're going to be mad and jealous because you got this job. You got it. You got it. Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. You got it. And they're gonna be kind of, they're gonna be mad, but fuck it. It's not for them. It was for you. So congratulations. You know, maybe they want to show man, maybe they want to show woman, and they, and now they see that y'all are back, back together, and y'all trying to work things out, and now they mad. Fuck it. That's their problem. That's not your problem. You have to move on with your life. You and your mate have decided that y'all gonna work some things out. Then hell, you know, they gonna have to move on too. You can't sit there and, and, you know, they'll get over it. I feel like, you know, it's just the three. And they may be voicing that. You know, I feel like they're going to be pouting. Having their own little pity, you know, not pity party, but temper tantrum. Because they didn't get what they want. Because, you know, usually the king of swords, it could be a male or a female, they, they get what they want. They usually, you know, they're going to get what they want. And it just so happened this time that they didn't get what they want. They just will be shouting out their grievances to the world or anybody to hear. But I feel like nobody's going to be really taking them any, paying them any attention because they're always whining about something. So, um, just keep a positive mindset. Keep a positive mindset and, and congratulations on your job for those who have been, or congratulations on at least getting an interview. Get your foot in the door because I feel like you could sell yourself. But congratulations. Keep moving forward. Don't worry about what these people are saying. If you got your, your relationship back on track, congratulations for that too. Don't worry about what outside people have to have to say about your relationship. Only you and your mate should know what's going on and where, what plans y'all have. So, Happy New Year, you guys. I will see you in 2016. Thank you. Bye-bye.